welcome back to So Me Sunshine. Thank you very much for joining us this week. I am here with Jenny in the studio and we are gonna be taking you through some spring fabrics. So lots of lovely colors, different weights, different um, substrates, all sorts of things. So let's get started. The first fabric we have to show you today is a viscose cupro blend. Actually, I think it's more cupro than viscose. Um, and it's this lovely soft terracotta colored um, fabric and it's got a really nice drape as you can see and it's also got a really nice weight to it um, so you could make loads of different things out of this fabric we've got it in two different colors we've got it in this terracotta color as I said and we've also got it in a sort of off-white meringue kind of color and um, which is perfect going into the summer months um, and you can, as I said, you can make loads of different things out of it. So you can make dresses or a top. Um, the pattern that we've chosen for it today is actually the Ninny Elastic Waist Culottes. Um, this is a really great pattern. It's a firm fave here at Somi Sunshine. Um, it's a nice, easy pattern as well. Um, you don't need too many bits and pieces to make it. So we reckon that this would look fab in this. So if you've been watching our videos for a while, you know that we love a gingham in this studio. And so we were very excited when today this new gingham turned up. It is a 100% viscose yarn dyed gingham in pink and white. Um, it's quite, um, it's quite lightweight. It's got a lovely drape and it's very, very soft. Um, you, again, you could do lots and lots of different things with um, this fabric. You can make a blouse or a dress. The dress that we have gone for today is the Nina Lee Park Lane. Jenny saw a dress on the internet which was very similar to the Park Lane, but what they had done, they had added an extra tier at the bottom to sort of add a bit of a frill and then some frills on the sleeves. So um, we love a pattern hack and um, we that's something that we will be exploring. Um, but it is as it is quite lightweight, so you might like to line it because obviously it's white, so if you're wearing anything dark underneath then it'll show through. Um, but this is just a beautiful, soft, viscose gingham. Next up we have this cotton linen in a pinky red and white. It's a stripy fabric, obviously, as you can see. Um, it's a really nice uh, weight for this time of year. Um, it's got quite a good body though as well, so it's um, good for making a lot of things. You could make kind of, you could even make jackets and things if you were gonna line it. Um, but we thought dresses, trousers, the whole raft really you can make out of it. Um, and the pattern that we've chosen for today is the Durban by Megan Nielsen. Um, there are lots of different options for this um, particular jumpsuit and play suit, including ones without sleeves, sleeves, short sleeves, long sleeves, um, waist ties, pockets, all sorts of things. Um, so we thought that this fabric would make a really nice pairing with this. We had some really fun fabrics delivered this week, including a couple of sheer fabrics. And this is one of them. It is one of our favorites. It's a 100% cotton. It is a sort of lace. Um, it's this amazing very see-through as you can see um fabrics got these little flowers on it on a kind of cross-hatched background um i just love it and it's kind of harks back to the sort of 70s but also y2k which was my sort of teenage era um and i can remember wearing well actually no i never wore it but i wanted to wear stuff like this with like a little choker and a pair of massive jeans um, which has now come around, so happy days. But um, yeah, we love this fabric. We're so excited to have it in and we're really excited to see what people make with it. The two patterns that we've chosen to go with this fabric are the Sudley from ne Megan Nielsen, um, which we thought you could just like, you could take it on holiday, chuck it over your swimsuit, or you could even make like a slip dress to go underneath it. Or you can, if you're very brave and you're going to a music festival, you can just wear, you know, your underwear or whatever. Um, and the other option we have for it is the Ogden um, by True Bias. It's just a simple little camisole um, and we thought it would just make a really, really great little um, addition to your wardrobe. Following on from our last fabric, we have another sheer fabric, and this is another fabric we absolutely love. We're so excited to have it here. Um, it's a sort of light blue, floral, very sheer, um, and it's got a kind of um, embroidered floral pattern on it. Um, it's got a little bit of a stretch actually, crosswise, um, no stretch lengthwise. Um, as you can see, completely sheer. 
Um, again, this is a great uh, fabric for layering, for making, um, I mean, my vision for this would be to make a big dress to go over um, like a slip dress or um, like a bodysuit or something like that. Um, the two patterns that we've picked out for this are the Friday Pattern Company Sagebrush Top because Jenny, Jenny and I were just talking about um, what we would make with these this fabric and she was saying how she loved to make tops to go under dungarees and things like that, especially going into summer. Um, and this is just, it would look so nice, especially with a big sleeve because it's got quite a good body as well. Our second choice is the Wilder Gown by Friday Pattern Company. Um, it's another fan fave here in the studio. Um, lots of different options, lengths. You could chuck it on if you're going on holiday, you could chuck it over your swimsuit or you could just wear it out in the streets. Um, you could layer it up with a slip underneath, so something like the Saltwater Slip, also by Friday Pattern Company. Um, so yeah, we just love this fabric so much and again, we're really excited to see what people do with it because it's kind of got that sort of vintage 90s feel which is very in right now. Our next fabric is this gorgeous, frankly gorgeous, pink stretch cotton sateen. It is quite heavyweight so it's kind of the similar um, weight to a lightish Den light to mid weight denim. Um, it's got stretch to it um, and it has lots of body um, uh, as you would expect from a cotton um, sateen and we just love it and there are so many different um, things you can make with it. We've got it in three colours so we've got it in this amazing bubblegum pink and then we've also got it in a sort of sky blue and a kind of pale pastel lilac-y colour so really nice spring summer colours and all very in fashion at the moment um, you can make so many different things out of this jackets trousers dungarees jumpsuits the whole raft I think in the summer I'm gonna um, make a pair of trousers out of these and put some fringing down the side of them I love this fabric so much. The pattern that we've chosen for you to uh, to pair with it today is the Blanca flight suit from Closet Core. Um, it's just a really nice jumpsuit and you can have it with short sleeves for the spring. Um, yeah, we just love it. Up next, we have a new um, washed linen for you. Um, we've got a few new colors. They're all sort of really nice earthy tones. Um, so we've got a green, I think, and a, um, a sort of darker mustard colour um, so we're really excited to have these to add to our enzyme wash linen collection. Um, this wash linen um, has is similar to your traditional linen really so it's got a nice um, fluid drape, um, it's, got an, it's got quite good body as well um, and as you know linens they soften over time so they're um, really nice to work with as well. So the pattern we have decided to pair with um, these new linens we have in um, is the Zadie jumpsuit by Paper Theory. It's a really nice jumpsuit, it's really um, pretty simple, it's got um, this nice tie detail around the front um, and it'll just be a really great, uh, this is a really good addition to any wardrobe. Our next fabric is a washed cotton, it's got a kind of vintage feel and if you look very closely on the fabric it's got a, um, it's got the traditional warp and weft and then it's got a kind of pattern which goes diagonally across it as well. Um, it's a really nice soft uh, feel um, and it, a bit like the, I think the, what is the, it is 100% cotton um, and so it'll soften over time as well even though it's actually pretty soft right now. It's got a very good drape um, and it's pretty opaque as well so you wouldn't have to line whatever you're making. Um, the pattern that we've chosen to go with it is the Hughes dress from Friday Pattern Company. Um, it's a really nice um, basic sort of um, dress and it's got a really nice detail with a tie going across the back. Um, and then buttons down the front and it's got um, yeah lots of lovely details like a sort of slightly puffy sleeve which you can also hack. Um, so yeah this fabric is really gorgeous and we have it in a few different colours as well. Um, also in those sort of earthy tones we've gone for quite sort of muted tones for these and they're really gorgeous. Um, next we have this green um, viscose linen blend um, similar to the uh, washed vintage kind of textured cotton it's got the traditional warp and weft which you can see in a linen but then it's also got um, this sort of cross hatching um, effect that also goes through it 
Um, we'll put a picture of that on the website when they go live. So um, we have this in a few different colours. It's really soft, it's very breathable, it's a really good fabric for this kind of year, um, this kind of time of year. And um, it's got very good opacity so you wouldn't have to line it as well. Um, there are lots of different options you can make with this. Um, there are, you could make everything from, you know, shirts, trousers, Jenny's wearing a dress in viscose linen today. Um, and we have chosen, what have we chosen Jenny? Elodie. Elodie. We've chosen the Elodie dress for you um, to pair with this fabric. Um, again, it's a really nice wrap dress. Um, it's got a kind of quite a full skirt and it's got a few different options on um, sleeves. It's got grown on sleeve, um, which is will be really nice in this because it will give it a kind of big blousy feel. Um, yeah, it's really beautiful. Our final fabric today is um, one that we are very excited about in the studio. It's a X Barber, so it's a waterproof cotton nylon mix. Um, it's really nice, it's this really traditional dark green colour, um, kind of countryside vibes. And it is a really nice, I mean, it doesn't have, it's not drapey, it's not fluid, it's, um, it really is a coating fabric. So we thought it would make a really, really fab Thayer jacket from Grainline Studios because you could line it um, with something warm and you could also go, if you wanted to make a kind of traditional barbaresque um, jacket, you could go for a cordroid collar or you could just make a collar out of this as well. Um, line it with something warm like a, um, like a, uh, what are they called? Flannel. Flannel, thank you Jenny. A flannel or you could even line it with something that's quilted. Um, but that would be, it would be such a nice, it would make such a nice jacket um, for spring and also for winter, for always. The other option we had for this fab fabric is um, the September coat from Merchant and Mills. The lining is optional, so you could just make a kind of Mac out of this it'd be so good and yeah we're really really excited to see what people make for, out of this fabric because it is really nice um it does have that kind of barber quality that when you scrunch it a bit um you do get those sort of like um patina marks but it's so beautiful um waterproof also excellent and uh yeah we're very excited um, thank you so much for joining us this week on the Sobe Sunshine YouTube channel and um, we really really appreciate your orders and we love seeing what people are buying and we like to imagine even more of that as I've said before what people are going to make with the fabrics. Um, comment below and tell us uh, which fabrics you liked from our fabric drop this week um, and also uh, feel free to send us messages on social media and email. We're always um, happy to hear from people um, and we'll see you next week. Bye!